Okay. Like you just did. So, the whole thing about structure is controlling your center of gravity and controlling your spine. So, see, he has he has his center. I'm gonna go forward. Meet me. Right there. See, that's now you're in the middle. So, if I'm here, I'm holding my middle. As soon as I feel him move to the center, I adjust from right here. See, I'm still controlling my hand. So, as soon as I feel pressure, I'm not gonna allow this to collapse. I'm gonna rotate off my spine. See? So, as soon as I feel pressure, I can do this. Now I can go straight. See, that's all I wanna do. I'm not trying to allow this to come in to then react. I'm feeling it from right there and I'm adjusting. So go forward, boom, that's it. See, I don't need no more space. So it doesn't have to be all rough and crazy. It's you're just looking for a little bit of space. He's coming in. You gotta take that into consideration. It's not like he's just swinging. He's coming in. Look, he's going that way. Come straight. There you go. So now when you step, I want to step. See, I adjust. It just puts me in position. But I don't allow this to collapse. See, so if you go forward and I collapse, if I do this, I get hit. Or he could come in again, right there. That's what he gets. But if I don't, go. Boom, that's it. He didn't even step, but he gave me enough energy so I could go. All I did was turn. If he steps in, he walks into that. See what I'm saying? So that's what you're trying to achieve. You're trying to have perfect control of your center of gravity all the time. See, so going back, let the hips set. Boom, so that then, like this float. This is like a float. Think of it like as a knee, a floating joint. So it, it, it allows you to be stable right here. It's neutral. So you can move. I can go anywhere. As soon as I feel pressure, boom, it locks. So you're looking for that twist and lock kind of feeling. Every position has a twist and lock like that you get into. But first you have to get the structure to twist and lock the position. So that's what, uh, we'll, I guess we'll start with that position. So you're still you're leaning back a little. Spine straight. Me and my chest. With your chest. Forward. There you go. So now when I press, meet my energy. You're still leaning back. You're trying to prevent his toes from coming up. That's how subtle it is. So I'm here. You're going back. Okay. That's it. You got to prevent that. So go to me. So I'm here. See, I'm just holding my position. It doesn't look like I'm doing anything. I'm just, I'm doing it so quick. That I'm just holding my position. That's the beginning of structure. So now I'm pressing. That's better. Now release. Go back to me. See, you have to create a neutral. That has to be a middle, a beginning, and an end. Everything has three points. A beginning, a middle, and an end. So this is the beginning. He feels it. Good. Now I apply pressure. He adjusts the pressure. I release. He releases. Always at the same time. You only give what you get. You know what I'm saying? That's how we start to learn. So, I mean, everybody tries side to side. So, there's a side to side, but that's when I start pulling and pushing. That's different. Right now, we're just establishing the understanding of yo. Control your spine, control your center, stay straight. That's the important part. So, when you jump in, you're really gonna look at everything that you're doing. So, really focus on yourself. This is a very selfish part of this martial art. It's all about you. So, if you can't control you, there's no way you're gonna control me. You know what I'm saying? So that's the mentality. If I can control myself, I can control anyone else. That's what you want to look at. So in order to control myself, I have to control every aspect of my structure. There's three parts. My legs, my whole body, and then my arm structure, right? These are all connected by my spine. So if I don't have control of my spine, I can't move everything around even. And then you start moving around uneven, then you're off balance. That's when you start feeling pressure. That's when you apply muscle. Wait, you have to use muscle to move. Let's get that out of the way. So there's no such thing as doing it without muscle. You always use muscle. It's just how much you use. You want to use enough to make it look natural. Like it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like easy, like you're picking up a ball. That's natural. You don't struggle to pick up the ball. You know what I'm saying? You don't go into motion. You just do it natural. So that's what you're looking for. That's the type of function you want with your Wing Chun. Because it's, it's primarily for self-defense, right? So you're not trying to do this to, to, to go into MMA. You're trying to defend yourself. You got a bar, you just adjust and move. That's what it's for. It's not designed to be battling head up. I mean, you could do that, you could train for that, but it's not designed for it. It's designed to get you out of the shit and go home, you know? So when you start, focus on your spine first. See, uh, when I do it, I connect my spine to my hip. My hip is, is neutral. So now, since all of this is connected, this whole thing moves forward. I don't do this. See, this is just my hips, see? I stay back here, I do this, boom. See, everything went. So now from here, I open, clap. 
then I kick out. So I try to keep it. That's not gonna crack. <laughs> I try to keep it so that I land always lined up, always good. So that it doesn't even matter. And you're gonna feel kind of like an internal stretch of your body. You're gonna feel your spine stretch up. If you do this correctly and you land your hands right, your elbows should be pulling down slightly. You know what I'm saying? So you're gonna feel this inside. So you're gonna feel this coming up, this going down. So it's gonna give you that spring, like you're gonna spring. So any motion is gonna bounce you forward. Any motion is gonna do that. So you have to create that within internally. Those are the parts you really want to focus on when you do this. Just the hip. Because you line it up, it's just you put your hip front right away. If you notice, if you, even if you line it, if I line up my spine, move my hip, my, my body goes back. It's a natural thing. You don't want to do that because this is late. This is more for doing this, for hitting. See, I can hit you. My, I'm caved in. I'm doing this. I'm braced to, to attack. This position, if you're like this, if somebody comes in, you're going back. You're already back. 